Hey guys, Stefan here from Automatio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bot that will dynamically fill, in this case, Google Form uh, with different data every time it submits the form. So basically, data will be dynamic and the data will come from the Google Sheet, from external source. And this data in the Google Sheet is generated by chat gpt um, actually using a plugin called gpt for work which is a plugin for google spreadsheet uh, where you connect a chat gpt api key and you can do a lot of stuff very powerful thing very useful uh, in this case i'm gonna just walk you through not gonna generate the formulas again but as you can see over here i have a simple formula that say gpt list write me a 10 first names it can be female or male and as you can see over here if i change the number to nine it's going to generate me nine uh, first uh, names um, and that's actually the gpt list function is generating the list or the rows basically so i'm going to bring back to the 10 over here you have given and i did the same thing for a last name uh, generate a last name it can be American, Latin, European. Generate me some emails. Generate me about you. Uh, write me 10 cents about me that are two sentences long. And as you can see, it say I'm a uh, believer in the power of education. I hear that to myself. Continue, la, la, la. Generate me some Twitter. Generate me how did you hear about us. So I hear about your company through a friend who had a great experience with your products recommended to me. So super useful, super uh, cool. Uh, and now I'm going to use this data inside the Photometia to fill this form. Here I have a bot that I already created. So for the sake of uh, this video to be short, I'm gonna, not going to create it from the scratch. I'm just going to walk you through how I did it. And I'm going to run so you can see the results. But basically, as you can see, I created some uh, demo form over here. That's form with the first name, last name, and some clickable uh, bullet points. But uh, basically, as you can see, most of this uh, is consists of uh, input fields, input action, actually. Um, but not just a standard input action, because we have a static input action over here. But in this case, we have a dynamic input. We are using dynamic input. Uh, where we pull the data from the Google Sheet, uh, exactly the one I just showed you over here. So I, I say, okay, uh, you can here select data from multiple sources, like from our own instance, maybe we scraped the data before, and then we can reuse this data to feed something out there, or to actually submit some forms, or maybe it's a custom list, or it's the, coming from Google Sheet. And then you select Google Sheet, you select which sheet, uh, which sheet tab and which column and so on basically since this is a dynamic input i put some uh, as a nested action and yeah i repeat the same uh, same this process for most of these input fields i just uh, limit the row limit one basically so you can use one row from each of these uh, data over here and yeah Basically, that's it. Uh, it's going to click some roll and then submit form. And after it's uh, done, after submit form, I'm asking it to refresh the page. And basically, it's going to repeat again because we have uh, 10 rows of data over here. And this is dynamic input. So for each of these row, it's going to repeat all of this process over here. So let's get uh, started. Let's run this bot. Uh, over here, I have... Uh, responses which say zero responses over here i have google sheet with these responses so we can see it later how it's work so i'm just going to run this bot and let's see what we're going to get all right so if i go to automate your dashboard i can go to the logs and i can see what's going on and i see it's already inputting some data it's going super fast, so I cannot follow. But if I go here, I can already see we have one response, which come from Emma Smith. And now we have a two responses from Lime Johnson. And it's going to go like that uh, for all 10 rows of uh, this data over here. 
So three rows, four rows, I can also check it over here. This is basically a spreadsheet of the Google form responses that Automatio is submitting right now. And we can also compare uh, these two. So we can see Emma Smith, uh, this is uh, basically the form response and this is uh, the data we generated. As you can see, Emma Smith Johnson, Emma Smith Johnson, Lime Johnson, Lime Johnson, Sofia Garcia, Sofia Garcia is basically matching the exact data. So this is the data from the uh, Jet GPT, and this is the data over here that uh, Automatio is submitted in the form. And basically, that's going to be uh, it. Uh, I think it's he successfully finished, as you can see, he submitted 10 rows of data out there. And yeah, that's it. Basically, you can use this for many different cases uh, to, su to submit um, data on the website that doesn't provide the API, which is super useful. It saves tons of time, so you don't need to manually submit or find or pay someone to do that for you. You can uh, build the bot and dynamically feed this. You can do more uh, kind of... Uh, advanced stuff uh, connected with Zapier or other automation software to make some trigger functions. So it can pull data from, let's say you maybe get some emails and then that email end up in spreadsheet and then maybe you do some chat GPT function to enhance or clean that data. And then you wanna use this data to submit on some website. You can do a lot of stuff, uh, infinity use cases out there. Uh, for the end, what I'm going to do just for fun, I'm going to create a um, couple of uh, instances that will use the same data, but I basically, I'm going to create, let's say, 10 bots that will run 10 of those. And it's going to be fun to watch how this goes. So I'm just going to click create and run. And basically what I'm doing here, I'm creating a clones of, the, of those bots and they're going to go there and run and run. So this is just gonna be a fun. So I probably create, I don't know, let's see how many. Yeah, probably a 10 of those. So if you see, if you go over here, we can see how fast uh, it's gonna go there to to fill data. As you can see, 17 responses, 20 responses, 22, 28, 28. So this is Automatio in the action. As you can see, you can create uh, really massive submissions forms uh, on some website or whatever you need for. This can be, of course, used for good and bad stuff. Uh, and I always said that Automatio is uh, like uh, like a knife. You know, you can use knife for good uh, stuff as a tool, but you can use for bad stuff to hurt someone, which is, of course, a bad thing. And... Yeah, this is just for fun. As you can see, it's already 74 submission form. And basically, that's it over here. We can also watch how the data is coming pretty fast. So this is all done. Automate is doing all this uh, and super cool watching this uh, automation process. Hope you find this uh, video tutorial useful. If you have any question, write me either respond to the email if you came through the email or write into the comment section and see you next time with uh, new stuff. Peace out.